Ever since Mike Recklin uh, first started teaching here, he brought, uh, so I guess he started in uh, 99 or 2000, but yeah, he started up the course more or less right away. He brought it from uh, New England or upstate New York and where he was from up in the Adirondacks uh, and had kind of a long background in tapping trees. And uh, at the college where he'd been at before, he'd found that this was just a really great way to introduce uh, kids to science. It's been really cool to go out in the woods and learn about all the different trees and uh, learn about the entire process that maple syrup takes to make. Pretty much the whole first part of the class is just getting out and getting these sugar bushes all lined out and getting the buckets hanged and and uh, you know getting the, the spiles put in and getting ready to start collecting. It's hard work, but it's well worth it. So once we do that, uh, then we kind of back up a little bit and uh, we start uh, dealing with other components of the class uh, where we start getting into uh, the anatomy and physiology of trees. Uh, we get into the chemistry of sap itself and basically how sap gets transformed into syrup, which seems like a pretty straightforward thing. Don't you just evaporate water? Well, not exactly. It's a little more, a little more interesting than that. I had no idea that there were so many chemical reactions and like specific uh, traits to maple syrup. I thought it was just boiling it, but that's not it at all. We're up here at the evaporator. We're evaporating sap, which comes from sugar maple trees. And when it comes out of the trees, it looks like water. So what we're doing here is condensing it into syrup. So we have it in our main collection tank. From here, it comes down, round into our tubes, into our drip tank. In here, it's condensing more and more until it gets into our finishing pan, where when we finally draw off, we have syrup. Uh, we get into the physics of, of combustion and basically figuring out how much heat we need and therefore how much wood of different types of wood we're going to need to get us through the sapping season. I really like uh, chopping all the wood and just being outdoors and chopping down trees. I just enjoyed the physical learning rather than sitting inside. But what we learn inside is really interesting also. We also kind of get into uh, kind of the natural resource business element of this as well. It's one of the classes that we offer in our department that kind of helps students deal with kind of the economic side of, of how you manage natural resources and um, basically make sure that you uh, can have both sustainable businesses and profitable businesses, which is actually pretty tricky to do. Even within the business side of things, there's the actual cooking of whatever product you decide to make. There's the wrapping, the marketing, um, the accounting side, so it's it's just been a really diverse class and I've really enjoyed that. If I can get college credit for being outdoors and making maple syrup, I think it's a great class.